Hey Gemini's and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel Gemini, <laughs> I can talk. For those of you who are new to the channel Gemini, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below along with the notification bell, okay? That way you can be notified anytime that I go live or post new content Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. Please do keep in mind, Geminis, that this reading may or may not resonate with every single Gemini. So please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as they do play a contributing factor, okay? So we're just going to hop right in. We're going to continue right along in the series. What you need to know, Gemini, for the month of May. All right. Spirit guys at the highest vibrational frequency, please allow me to see the messages for the sign of Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. First, we're going to get a backstory of what happened in the recent past for you, Gemini. Past energies, we're going to ask Holy Spirit about the current energies surrounding you. And then what is the advice moving forward? What you need to know moving forward, okay? In whatever situation that you may be in or have found yourself in the past, how can you move forward, okay? So, let's begin. All right, Spirit Guides of the highest vibrational frequency, angels, ancestors, the divine, please allow me to see the messages for the sign of Gemini. Okay, we have the chariot. This is what happened in the past. Um, Gemini, either you or someone you were dealing with could have wanted success and forward movement. We have the Wheel of Fortune. After, I feel like after a chain of events, something happened that motivated you to, to want to move forward. We have the Emperor. This is my divine, divine masculine card. Two of Pentacles. One more please for the past energy for Gemini. Okay, some of you Geminis, you are a divine masculine and you wanted success, you wanted to move forward. You wanted to change um, a situation where you felt stuck with the Eight of Swords here. Look, you felt stuck in a certain situation for some of you divine masculines with the Emperor card here. Um, also Gemini, some of you could be dealing with an Aries, right? Um, but you want it forward movement. You want it forward movement. And you want it to move forward because you were in an energy where you were really depressed and had a lot of anxiety going on, um, restless. Some of you could deal with anxiety and depression. Gemini, uh, yeah, Gemini, air sign energy here. Two of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I always get y'all mixed up with Taurus <laughs> for a second there. Two of Pentacles, trying to juggling, balancing act, trying to juggle things, trying to make sure that, you know, bills are paid, needs are met children are fed, you know, that you have a job, that you have a source of income, like y'all are really stuck in your head and you're just like in the recent past, you wanted to move forward, especially for my masculines. I feel like this is a particular, this is for the masculine, I feel, energies, but it could also apply to the feminine. So feminines, if you're watching, um, take the messages as they resonate, okay? They're, they're not gonna resonate with every single Gemini, okay? But some of you wanted success in forward movement after um, being in an energy, a low vibrational energy of feeling stuck, feeling like one, due to quarantine, but two, for some of you, you felt like you were just in a place where you couldn't make ends meet with the two of pentacles, like in a dead end job, somewhere where you weren't happy. And, and now you're, I feel like you're coming out of that energy with the emperor here and you're able to find stability with his, with his presence. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, with, with the emperor being present here, some of you were able to balance things out and take control of the situation and have success. All right, what's the current energy surrounding the sign of Gemini, please? Current energies surrounding the sign of Gemini. All are in a relationship Gemini where someone either you or your person take the messages as they resonate right apply the messages at where they go right insert yourself where it goes um, but someone's holding back someone's like emotionally unavailable here the devil is here okay someone could be your person could be a Capricorn Gemini for some of you it could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a fire sign, Gemini, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, excuse me. But for some of you, someone's holding back here because they're still caught in some type of toxic cycle. There could be a third party here. There could be. 
Yep, there's a, someone detached. Someone is very much detached with the Four of Cups here. Gemini, I don't know if this is you or your person, but someone, someone is distracted by other options. I feel, like I said, there could be a third party here and I feel that very strongly. Knight of Wands, someone's very wishy-washy in and out. And because of that, there was a missed opportunity here. There was a missed opportunity here. Yeah, with the Four of Cups. Um, I feel, Gemini, I feel like this could be your person. Like they, they don't realize your value. They don't realize your worth, which is why the devil is here. Because this is a very low vibrational energy. This person only wanted a, a passionate encounter with you. Like I said, of like sex with the Nine of Wands. This, is, this could very much be the real deal here. Um, which is why I feel like you could be holding back with the Four of Pentacles in this relationship because you feel like this person really doesn't truly love you they're not there for your best interest there's an, they're they see you as a supply i feel a very narcissistic energy with the devil here they can, trying to see what they can get from you physically or financially they're only with you for clout or for finances you know for as a support like this person could be codependent but they don't really truly see your value as a person you know what you actually bring to the table and this person if you have a conversation with them about you know, actually um, having a committed relationship, this person is kind of like, mm, let's just see how it goes. Let's just, just enjoy each other right now. And that's all a bunch of BS. Like, Gemini, you deserve to have what you truly want and desire in your life. So make sure you make that note. Make sure you set healthy boundaries for yourself. And if this person is not capable of meeting your needs, thank you. Next. Okay. What's the advice for Gemini moving forward, please? What is the advice for Gemini moving forward? Yeah, for some of you, some of you, you're dealing with a Capricorn, fire sign, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who is in a very much devil, narcissistic energy. This person doesn't really want to give with the four, uh, yeah, four of pentacles. They don't really want to give to this connection with the four of wands. That's why the devil is here. This person has detached themselves. This person with the Four of Cups, they detach themselves. They don't really see your value here, Gemini. This person is a player, Nine of Wands. You de you're dealing with a straight player, okay, for some of you, okay? This reading will not resonate, like I said, with every single Gemini, but be aware of it. This this is masculine or feminine. Ro reverse the roles where they fit, okay, in your situation. But someone, someone, there's a certain group of Gemini that are dealing with a player. This person is a player. They only came to see what they can get from you. And that's about it, okay? They don't really care about your well-being, Gemini. I'm just going to keep it real. Keep it real. I was going to use that deck, but I don't feel like picking up that card. Possible. What's the advice? Well, we got the Nine of Wands. It's time to, even though, even though you've been through a lot in this connection, you will persevere. You will make it through this, Gemini. This too shall pass. This too shall pass, Okay? This is a moment in time, and uh, you deserve so much better. And there will be another connection coming in that's going to bring you peace and love. I saw that with the Two of Cups in the bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups, look at that. So you persevere, right? And you go through all the, the trials and tribulations that come along with connections, right? And you end up with your Ten of Cups. What's the advice? Go towards your Ten of Cups. Be passionate. Like I said, Gemini, set healthy boundaries for yourself. Do not allow anyone to... Take advantage of you because you guys are so giving and so loving. You know, set your healthy boundaries and know know what's healthy for you and what isn't. Ten of Pentacles because y'all, some of y'all got the money. Some of y'all are going to be getting paid, Gemini. Some of y'all are going to be getting paid. Um, <clears throat> but um, for some of you, this connection, you're going to have to end this connection. It's going to hurt. Three of Swords. But I feel like, like I said, for some of you, you could be in a third party situation with the devil here they could have and that could oh look the moon's on the bottom of the deck so definitely for some of you this person that has the devil energy right they are a knight of wands with the four of cups and the four of pentacles this person is hiding the fact that they are not giving to you because they are giving to someone else that's the secret right that's the secret what's the secret i'm gonna dig a little bit deeper because y'all know me What's the secret? Yeah. Yeah. 
I feel like with the Six of Swords here, this person, they want to move forward with you, Gemini, but they can't because they're still stuck in, in a connection with someone. You're going to see this very clearly with the Ace of Swords. What's the advice? Nine of Cups. Move towards your overall wish fulfillment. Move towards your overall wish fulfillment. Yeah. There's going to be someone else coming in, your knight in shining armor, knight of pentacles here. Someone who's actually willing to put in the effort and energy into a connection with you, Gemini. Beautiful energy. And that's going to be success. Six of wands. So just know that. Like I said, this reading may not resonate with every single Gemini. So please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And then check out the other videos that are posted because those videos may fit your situation better. Okay? So that's been your reading, Gemini, for the month of May. What you need to know, right? The advice moving forward, the advice from Holy Spirit, um, they're wanting you to know that there's going to be clarity, Ace of Swords, in this situation. For those of you who suspect a third party is going on, it's because there is a third party situation going on. You've been put in a third party situation. Right now, your focus needs to be um, on yourself, Nine of Cups, making sure you're comfortable, you're stable, you're, you're content, you have what you need to be fulfilled, okay? Because this person has been hiding things from you with the moon here. They've been hiding things from you. But everything that is done in the dark, Gemini, will come to light. Like I said, there will be clarity. All right? Also, what you need to know, there's going to be another person who um, has a very stable energy. This person could have Earth in their chart, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But they're going to want to come in and give you a solid, stable offer. So, don't allow this past person, this toxic person, if this is a current or past person, to block the blessing of someone new coming in who actually wants something stable with you. Okay, don't self-sabotage it, Gemini. That's the advice moving forward. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If the reading resonates for you, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, love you, Gemini.